guys, we're working hard. We got a lot of projects going on today and it's getting dark here in a few minutes, but we're working hard to try to get this finished up. We've got some bonnie, strawberry, uh, let's see, quinault strawberries from bonnie. We got eight of these. Then we got there's three. Let's just open it up and see. I think it says there's three plants per pack. Yeah. So we got ten plants, ten rootstock plants in each box. Now I don't know if they're gonna work or not. I talked to several people who said they've tried these and they didn't have any luck out of them. But we're gonna give them a shot, see what happens. They're good and moist, they're not dried out. So, here goes nothing. It says to dig a hole deep enough to put the roots all the way in without curling the root, and then backfill the hole. Keeping the top out. Yep. <clears throat> so we're gonna go down through here and we're gonna do that. We're gonna see what happens. If these things start growing, we'll fill this bed up quicker than I thought. Secret ingredient to this one. I've got some Whitetail Imperial Power Plant that I picked up. The stuff in here, I don't know if you guys know anything about sun hemp. If you don't, you need to look it up. Um, it's not like the other hemps and things in that nature. That's not what we're talking about today. This plant is uh, very good for the soil. It's also very high in protein. It grows very fast. It's very um, hardy as far as when you clip it. Every time you clip one, it puts two shoots off where that one was. It's very good food for the chickens, for cattle, for uh, goats, for anything of that nature. Turkeys love it, deer love it. Uh, everything loves it. So I'm gonna double crop this since this is so open. Um, and until these plants get established, I want to have something else growing in here, um, kind of giving it some cover and helping to build the soil and the biology in the soil. So we're going to put this in there between the rows and on each side. And uh, this is going to be really good feed for the chickens and also give this stuff some cover where it can get established. But stay tuned, this stuff grows fast. If it comes up and does like it always has in the past, um, you'll be amazed. This stuff grows six foot in 60 days. Six foot tall in 60 days. But now I'll be trimming it, cutting it, using it to mulch stuff, using it to feed the chickens, uh, using it for mulching the chicken bed. Um, it's very good for all of that. So stay tuned.